This patient, a 76-year-old female, came to hospital complaining of a lack of appetite and fatigue. The O-ring test showed that there is an abnormality in her stomach. First, her stomach is mapped out. Then, further O-ring tests will determine the kind of illness and its location. If the O-ring opens when using aluminium foil as a wide area electrode, the problem is somewhere under the area covered by the foil. The piece of foil is folded smaller to try and pinpoint the location. Once found, testing continues to pinpoint the exact location of the abnormality. As yet, nothing in this area has been found. It looks like the abnormality has been located. Once again, the area around this spot is checked to confirm that nothing has been overlooked. I think this here is the abnormal spot. What can you tell from the results of this patient? By holding the prepared specimen of stomach cancer tissue, we looked for the spot that would react to it using aluminium foil. Since there was only one spot about the size of the point of the rod within the reaction area, I seem to think that the abnormality is quite small. Do you mean a small area of cancer? It did react to the cancer tissue, but because it is quite small, I'm not sure whether it is cancer or precancer. Mm. So it may be difficult to detect using the current technology. Yeah. Please open your mouth wide. Then, a test is done using the endoscope to see whether it is cancer or not. I'm about to put it in. Please relax your stomach. That which can be seen in the background is the duodenum. They found the abnormal spot, but are not sure yet whether it is cancer or not. Here, they apply a saline solution of indigo carmine. Cancer tissue has a tendency to repel the dissolution. It is unmistakably cancer. If we didn't apply the solution, we wouldn't have recognized it as cancer. This end of the piece of wire is five millimeters in length and we'll insert it in until it gets to this spot. Next, they measure the size of the cancer. When we placed it near the cancer, we found the red area. You can see it is less than five millimeters in diameter. Just as the O-ring test showed, 
they found stomach cancer. Let's hear more about the area where they found the cancer. This is an image showing the whole stomach. The illness is in the area which is surrounded by the black dots. This is the cancer just above the center. In this case, if we compare the two tests, the locations are roughly the same. Incidentally, even though the cancer is so small, apparently can be detected with very high accuracy. Looking at the position of it, I tend to think that it's in an area in or around the heart. Next, the O-ring test will be conducted on Yusuke, the results of which will be compared with those of tests done later using conventional methods. You are outlining the weak area with the marker. That's right. According to the results of the O-ring test, the area that has been outlined from the heart around to the back is not normal. The next area that showed some abnormality was the area around the neck. The test is carefully conducted using various prepared specimens. The results of the examination. The diagnosis shows that Yusuke's problem seems to be in the cervical vertebrae found in the neck. The areas shaded in pink, these three areas, are the ones that showed the strongest reaction. That's right. Muscle strength was at a low in these areas, and I think there is a strong chance that the abnormality is here. After this, using the latest in medical technology, the areas showing some abnormality will be re-examined. First, let's look at what the results were from Yusuke's O-ring test last week. There is no communication between the doctor and the patient. The doctor has begun looking thoroughly around the neck. The abnormality seems to be especially strong around the cervical vertebrae. The results seem to point to a mild disc herniation in the vertebrae. So I started to wonder if they may be the symptoms of pressure from a herniated disc. I'd like to take further tests. Here we go. Will they really find anything in or around the cervical vertebrae? This time, tests will be done using high-tech methods. We actually took an X-ray before doing the MRI. Let's take a look. If you look here, this is the second vertebrae. Two, three, four, five, six. The, the seventh vertebrae. The sixth and seventh. Three, four, five. There's an abnormally strong curved bone formation in front of the fifth, sixth and seventh vertebrae. Do you mean the pointed part? That's not normal, is it? Not necessarily. It occurs with age, but it's quite severe for someone 56 years of age. Really? 